Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to this presentation for science class. I am so happy to be with you all today. I hope you all doing very good. Let us sing that song that says, Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Brown and yellow, black and white, all the precious and he say, Jesus loves the little children of the world. Let us have a word of prayer to start our presentation for our class today. Okay, close on our hands and on our eyes. Let us pray. Dear God and in heaven, we thank you once more, Lord, because you have been so good to us. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your love. We ask you, Lord, that as we start our class today, that you can be with us. Bless each one of the kids this morning, O oh Lord. Protect them and keep them. And give them wisdom to understand our class for today. Be with our parents, O oh Lord. Protect them and keep them and bless them and watch over each one of them. Because we ask all of these things, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, we continue studying about the animals. And today we're going to learn about the amphibian. Okay, the amphibian. The amphibians are vertebrate. They have bad bones. Okay, they have bones. Even though they they like to live in the water most of the time, but they have bone too. Okay. The amphibian lay their eggs in the water. You can see the different eggs that they lay in the water. Do you remember God created all the animals, all the creatures that's in the, here in earth? He created all of them and also he protect them and provide for each one of them food and shelter. Okay. So we say the amphibians lay their eggs, and here we got an example of frogs. These are the eggs from the frog. These are the eggs of the toad. These are a little bit bigger, and these are the egg of the salamander, okay? When the amphibians are born, their babies have gills. Gills is what the fish have here, okay? Like here, this one looks like a fish. That helps them breathe. And afterward, when they get go getting bigger, then they get lungs to breathe, okay? The amphibians have cold blood and their body, it said, do not make body heat. They don't, they don't, um, they don't come out in the sun and heat and all, like how the mammals or the reptile do, their body are cold, okay? Why their body are cold? Because it mostly lives in the water, okay? We have frogs that are amphibians. We have different types of frogs and colors, okay? Y'all can see here. And also we have a color here, blue, like a yellow green, here like a brown and green, this one like green, and this one like green. The cycle of a frog is first, the frog puts their egg, then it turns to embryo, then it you can see here, afterward it burns and it turns to a um, tadpole. And then afterwards, it gets two legs, two legs. Afterwards, it got four legs and then it become a frog, okay? And all of this is this bee or this cycle must be in the water, okay? I don't know how much you all ever seen a uh, a tadpole in the, in the water or a baby frog in the water while it's almost like a fish, how you see here. The next one we have is toad. Toad is amphibian. If you touch their skin, their skin and they have uh, 
kind of like soft and their skin, okay? But they, they have poison, okay? So you gotta be careful with them. They can throw poison to you. We also have a new so a salamander. They are amphibious too, and we got different types of salamander, okay? These like snakes are warm. They said they look like warm, but they are not warm. They are born with gills. Gills mean that they have, that they can breathe in the water. They have gills like a fish. And they also have back bones, they have bones, okay? This name, um, this name, Celsilhins, cel 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 okay? Activities. Trace the word frog, tool, salamander, and you. And here, in your book, paste picture, two pictures in your book from two amphibians that you know. And also, you're going to put the cycle of the frog, okay? First is egg, second is tadpole, third is frog, froglet, it's in here. And four, it turns to a frog. Very good. Thank you for your attention. Have a wonderful day. May God fold you all with his blessing, okay? Behave on yourself and be good.